the, the discussion about approach and and how that can be reflexive has to come into it, right? Because from the get-go, we've got to determine our relationship with the horse and with them with us, and we've got to assess their relationship with their person and assess their relationship with their environment. And, and hopefully you get to drop in and be part of that actually, because that's the most potent thing, that interconnectedness is, um, it's just, we can step into that anytime we want. That's just there because it's part of our life. And I think that for the horse, I suspect um, that when we do that, it's a great relief to them because we're starting to act in a way that's much more consistent with the way that they communicate with us. Because when we talk about approach, if we're talking about reflexes, then because that looks at a whole concept of self-correction and in science, one of the really neat words that we're relying upon the concept, the word describes the concept of homeostasis, which is basically this idea that the body is always trying to, to become um, stable and, and whole. Horses and people are interdependent elements. How can they kind of create some balance and when we're walking into a barn or, or a, you know, a working situation, one of the first roles is to take in all of that that you see, right? The horse, yeah, they'll be starting to assess you. That's the fun thing about working with horses, right? Is you're being assessed. So there's always that thing that we talked about with homeostasis going on all of the time, this interaction, it's just going on. So if we're looking at a reflexive response, and one of the things I've, I've put in here is reflexes are proprioceptive neuromuscular responses, it's, and it's an automatic response. So it's not like we have to think about it. And we can elicit these responses by approach. So that is driving up, that is bonding with your horse, Right, so how you put your hands on by touch. Right, so, yep, we've got your hands on by movement. Now, movement goes back to you might not have your hands on the horse. That can just be the way you move and moving with them. So that can be walking. Or it can be to do with body positioning, which, again, you don't need your hands on your horse to have body positioning to have a reflexive response because you could actually mimic something in your body. right? Or it's about... A technical positioning right so you've got four main tools to use to start to initiate a reflexive response her tail or anything else was just that she kind of she's very slow and as if she would be very content never to have to move at all so that's what stood out as the most obvious thing for yeah. me yeah, exactly yep anyone else like all right do i have to exactly do i have to yeah like life's been pretty hard for this girl so all right well what about if i just mimic that right we'll just walk as slowly as possible i'm not going to not walk right. yep so what i'm going to do is i'm going to well i am going to be a bit forward okay when i do that is that all right Mm -hmm. It's all just falling forward. So I'm going to walk very slowly and fall forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that for five or so steps and then walk for five or so steps normally and then alternate that. All right. Can we do that? Let's go. So I'm going to walk normally to start with. Where does it do that? Very slowly, 
Right, we'll stop now.